Yo, what is going on guys? It is not reality. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this armor. And then also I will show you what, how to enhance it or how I think you should be enhancing it. So first off, what do we need? We need a red nose, which is this right here, or a dim tree armor. You can also use black star, but I don't know why you would do that. Now, if you haven't started this at all, and you don't even have the, the either of these armor you're in season gear, make sure you grab yourself the red nose. It is an invasion piece instead of a DR piece but it does cost a thousand less Kafras, which is like three billion less silver. So make sure you grab yourself a red nose. I don't think the, uh, I don't, I don't think the difference in the red nose is in the dim tree early on is good enough to go with dim tree. Just go with red nose for the, uh, the less cost. And then once you get one of those, obviously you're going to need to grab yourself some Kafras. You're going to need a ton of Kafras. This isn't going to be a quick thing that you do. This is going to take you, you know, a couple months unless you really hard focus like I did and just spend all of your silver on Kafras. So you're going to buy yourself some Kafras. I think you need around 7,226 for Red Nose, which comes out to around 18 billion silver. And then you also need the Flame of Despair. Now, normally there's some in stock and they're pretty cheap. You can farm it at Turos, which is a duo spot. So I don't really recommend it. And the Flame of Despair doesn't have a great drop chance. But you know, if you're not really that close and you have a friend you want to farm with, maybe you go here and get a lucky flame drop while you're farming for the Kafras silver that you need. And then once you have the C10 armor, make sure it's fully repaired, fully, you know, uh, memory fragged and everything. Go to your thing and type in Doran Morgrim. He doesn't actually show up on the map, so you actually have to type it in here. Once you type it in here, you set your auto path, which will be over here in this mountain. If you've done the Doran Morgrim adventure log, you've been here before. But you basically go down there into this mountain, go around here into this mountain, and he will have a quest where you basically turn in the C10 Red Nose and the Flame of Despair, and then you go up to the altar and you just, you know, click it a bunch of times and it'll be like, oh, you crafted an armor, and then it'll, you'll go back to him and he'll give you the armor. Now, when you get the armor, it will look like this. It does say that it's pen, but it actually isn't pen. It just shows that because you've handed in a pen Red Nose. This is a base falling god. And now we're going to be getting into the enhancement process. So I will be right back. Okay, now we're at the enhancement process. Now, I'm going to try to enhance this gear to duo. If it fails, I'm not going to like trash the video. If it fails, it fails. That's the reality of enhancing. But let's let's talk about enhancing. So what do you need for enhancing? You need these flawless chaotic black stones. Now there's a bunch of ways to get these with different like heating and stuff. Uh, it says it right there as well. What you This is one way you could do it. I'll post a website description or website in the description that'll show you all the ways that you can get them. But basically you need sharp black crystal, hard black crystal, one mass of pure magic, and then 10 Kafras. So basically every single time you're enhancing this in just these alone, you're spending like uh, 40, 50, 60 mil, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit cheaper, like 45 mil, somewhere around there, every single time you enhance it. Now, the thing that makes this expensive and really annoying is... Because when you go to enhance this, so let's put this in. So one, you lose 30 durability every single time it fails, which already sucks because you need a lot of memory fragments and a lot of uh of the I don't even know what they're called. The the uh artisan memories. You need a bunch of those, but also when you're enhancing, you're gonna be starting for pry at around 60 to 70. So I'm going to do let's see, 12. Um, I'm gonna do a 77. Why not? You know. Actually, we're going to go 60 and we'll just put in some Valks. So this 14%, put in some Valks. That's 16%. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tapping this until it gets to around 90. If it fails 10 times, I'm going to cry. But that's just how it is. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to raw tap this because it can't go down anymore. It can just lose durability. Once we raw tap this to, do, to pry, we have to raw tap it again to duo with like a 16% chance again. And you're going to be doing this probably just a bunch of times. Uh, and then once you get it to do that's when you start crying. You don't start crying before duo because it's just not worth. So, and you can also make some, yourself some cool fail stacks. So let's just go over that again. You're going to start with a 60 to 70 fail stack. You're going to, if it gets to 90, you're going to stop using it and you're going to start a new one. Then when it, you get to pry to duo, you're going to start at a 100 to 110 stack. And once it gets to 150, you're going to stop and save that and go to a new one. So let's try this out first try i've been getting pretty lucky lately so i'm doubt i'm gonna get lucky now first fail let's go again let's 
second fail. That one held out for a long time. I was like, geez, am I going to get in two? Third right here. And we'll have to repair after this one. And we failed it three times. And this is where it becomes costly because now you have to repair it. Get it repaired. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. Get back into it. We have seven more tries. Let's go. Another one. Now we're rounding up on 80. Remember, we're trying to go to 90. And we go again. Last one until you have to repair again. I, like I said, I did get really lucky on prize yesterday. Okay, so I hit the pry. Now here's the annoying part. We have to get it to duo. So now we have to use this 120. I'm going to put in some Valks for that 1%. We have to raw tap this because Kron's way too expensive. Um, I have four left, so this probably will be the last one that will actually try and get on a duo unless I get really lucky. So we're going for a duo. Let's try this out. Now it's going to say it's too high of an enhancement chance, but that's completely fine. You're, like I said, you want to use it up to like 150, 160. And we will go. And it failed. Okay, now we got to go recover max durability. Like I, like I said, this is going to take you a lot of tries. This isn't going to be instant. Normally, I think the average is around four to six duo taps. So once you get it past pride, duo taps, it's around four to six. So we have four more tries. We can see if we can get it at least back to pride for now. Or three more tries, sorry. Uh, make sure we don't use that. And then this is also where it becomes expensive. Now you have to get a new stack. And if you enhance a lot, um, how much does two give? Yeah. If you enhance a lot, uh, you might not have any stacks. So then you have to build stacks and that kind of sucks. But if you're like me and you don't really tap ever, you do have a decent amount of stacks sitting around. Okay, let's try to get it back to pry. Ooh, I thought we were getting the first try. Okay. Second to last. And last try. And we failed. Now that's just the reality of enhancing is what it is. I'm going to be tapping this until I can get it to duo because I personally want to get it to duo just for uh, my gear score's sake. But yeah, I hope this video did help with not only enhancing, but showing you the reality of how long it's going to take. And uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.